are not yet fully scaled. We need a lot of additional development, as you can see. Energy efficiency, as one of the energy transition levers, offers effective long-term solutions to manage our energy consumption, thus reducing carbon emissions. The government will launch a major retrofit program to enhance energy efficiency in government buildings. In this regard, an ESCO energy service company's platform will be established to connect private ESCOs, which are mainly SMEs, with government projects. The central role of the platform would be to serve as an intermediary that pulls government building retrofitting projects and encourages public-private coordination in ESCO market. In May this year, the government set out an ambitious target to achieve 70% renewable energy installed capacity by 2050 and lifted the ban on cross-border trade and renewable energy. A renewable energy exchange will be established. Originally, it's supposed to be end of the year. But Rafizi insisted it should be earlier. So that will act as a market aggregator that will enable price discovery and monetize excess power. As the paramount challenge in energy transition is financing, it is estimated that an investment of at least 1.5 trillion ringgit between 2023 and 2050 is needed to enable responsible energy transition. Within this decade alone, the government requires between 60 billion and 90 billion ringgit to be allocated for crucial projects, among others, expansion of public transportation, strengthening grid infrastructure, and reskilling of human capital. Considering Malaysia's current state of mature decarbonization technologies, our progress will significantly hinge on alternative energy sources and robust regional and international collaboration. In this regard, the government will allocate 2 billion ringgit as seed fund for the National Energy Transition Facility. Now, this facility will enable catalytic blended finance to ensure a seamless flow of financial resources towards energy transition projects that are marginally bankable or yielding below market returns. For example, investment in EV value chain, hydrogen and CCUS technologies. Now, the National Energy Council will be activated to ensure holistic energy planning and policy development while monitoring progress of the NETR. 